guess who is back that's right it's me the elite age we live action you already know what it is so more dark souls 2 let's play for you guys and i want to thank everyone who's been asking me when was i going to upload more gameplay of this because obviously that shows you all want to see it and i think that's cool now this is yes a take two because when i came across this castle that i'm headed to now you know i got killed by one of those elephant knights you all know what i'm talking about the ones who got this game and who made it to this point or beat it and I tried to fight both of them at the same time, which is a very dumb thing to do, um, depending on what level you're at and what type of weapons you have. And I died. And I died on the steps. So I said, you know what, to hell with this. Let me start recording this, you know. And uh, my overall thoughts of this upcoming castle, man, I don't know what to expect, really. But if I had to guess, let's see. Traps. Um, tight doors. Uh, you, know, you know, it's tight hallways is what I mean. Uh, uh, crazy enemies, dying, death, uh, getting killed, BS, craziness, all those type of things. That's just in the Dark Souls game, period. But yeah, I made my way up there. I tried to run past the damn Elephant Knights to try to go straight in the castle. The damn doors would not open. So that's when I tried to lure them back down the stairs. And one of them damn things killed me. So here we go again. And I know it's something up with those statues. Because the first damn time, the statue actually lit up, you know, blue. And then now I see it's not lit up how did I do it I don't know maybe I gotta kill the enemies and then the doors open up that's the only thing I can guess see it's blue now well it was blue it just went away but I, 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 don't, I don't get it I don't know if there's a, a hidden door a hidden switch I don't know what's the point of that area right there up and there we go that's our killer 001 naturally electronic shout out but I'm gonna find my way through this uh through this castle door and this strategy you do not want to do this oh man by having all the enemies just run after you because the enemies on here they will chase you to high heaven man they will not stop okay some of them will stop depending on how far back you run but it seems like they will not stop. I mean, they will keep coming after you to the point there. Some will accidentally fall off an edge, all those type of things. But you, you, you don't want to do that. Because on here, man, fighting multiple enemies at once can just be suicide. Depending on the area and, you know, your level, your armor, weapons, all that type of things. Hell, even still, if you use one of those, uh, I forget the name of those damn things. You can use them at a bonfire to revert things back to the way it was and I think it says a message something like uh, you can't undo what's already done or something like that and it brings back all the enemies all the dead bodies that have those souls that have the items but the enemies come back stronger and they give more souls that I do like at first first time I heard about them things I heard they were so so rare yes they are rare they are very rare but those things they do come in handy because if you keep trying to farm the enemies in the area, they stop responding. Then you're just SOL. It forces you to move on. You know, and, and it's inevitable anyway because when you're training, it, it gets to some point, man, like the forest of fallen giants. I mean, those those zombie enemies, I mean, they're the amount of souls they give you at some point, it's not even gonna matter. You can laugh at those amount of souls. You know? So it's only gonna make sense to just go ahead to the stronger areas to get more souls to level up faster and apply them to weapons and items etc okay now see I went ahead and just 
had to skip to the door opening because I spent way, way too long. Way too long. Trying to figure out how to get the damn doors open. And I see what it was. I think I have to kill enemies around the statue and the souls go in there and then it opened up. But here we go. It's on now. Motivating doors opening up. We are not in the castle. Look at these dudes trying to run up on me. I can't even stand there for six seconds and do a quick scan of the area. Damn. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not trusting this area. And see, and in this castle, we have these Royal Guard, Holy High Knight Protective type of uh, enemies. And there is one behind me. If you heard of the that animation, all right, there we go. Now, see, th th this armor right here, this is the armor I want. This is my next big armor I'm trying to hunt down. I want that shield. I want that sword. I'm not a spear person. I only used the spear one time on here. And it, it's just, I don't know, man. It's not for me. I think you got to have a lot of stamina to use that shield. I mean, not shield. Damn, that spear. But I already know those enemies, they're not going to give you the whole set. Some enemies will give you the whole set. But I bet them enemies right there, them golden knights, I have to probably find the helmet, the grease, the armor, you know, gauntlets, all that stuff. Ain't no telling where I get the sword from. Maybe I get it off of them. Oh man, what do we have here? And naturally, I have to exhaust this dialogue, you know, keep on talking to him because who knows what he's going to offer. You know, once I get done talking to him. I'm thinking at first this motivator and lost his mind. I mean, it's it's not too surprising. You're a soul. You're just basically stuck there. And I knew it. He has something to offer. Yes, he has a small little shop. So it's always good to exhaust the dialogue because you never know what they have to offer. Um, okay, let's see. 
Lightning arrows, lightning bolts, magic bolts. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got the old radiant life gems. That's cool. Got divine blessings. Um, repair powder. Got a couple of things. It's always good to have options of people you can buy stuff from. Because in this game, man, it seemed like merchants and blacksmiths are just very, very rare. I think it's only what? Three? No, four? Throughout the whole damn game? Oh, man. Ain't no telling us through them doors. Alrighty, Leech, here we go. On through the rest of this damn castle. Good God, I know the BS is going to strike. See? I'm starting to get sick of these enemies already. Naturally, not the gold knights, but these little freaking grunts, man. Goodness. And my motivating sword is at risk. Okay, now speaking of, speaking of armor. Well, some of you have noticing, uh, you know, y'all noticed the armor that I have on. Well, it looks more like a, a cloth. But this is what it is. This armor, or this cloth I have on, I got it from that boss I fought in the last let's play I did of this. That Headless Cervantes, you know, with the dual swords. I got it off of him. And yes, it, uh, believe it or not, it's stronger. How is it stronger? I don't know. But as you can see, yes, I kept, you know, the the head and the, uh, I mean, the helmet and the greaves. I still got my same sword and shield. But unfortunately, man, I mean, a hey, stronger looks do not raise your defense, nor does it increase your attack power. And I found that out way, way back when I was younger. I mean, I was playing, what, Diablo 1 on PC, of course. And I had this sweet, sweet looking sword. Real sweet looking sword. I loved it. This thing was getting me through everything. And, you know, I, I like swords more than axes. I do. I'm still like that. But in a lot of medieval titles, the axe is stronger than most swords. So I came across this axe called the Lord's Axe. And that motivator had knockback. And then when I hit Diablo with it, man, I mean, I was knocking his ass back, knocked him into a corner, kept on chopping, 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 and I got him with it. And, you know, and I, and, I, and, and it wasn't just because they had knockback. The overall attack power was way stronger than the sword I had. So, you know. Yeah, there's been times in some medieval titles, man. You know, I'm not a fan of maces uh, either. So, I see a mace, I'm like, damn, I get it. Or I find it. And the attack power is way stronger than the sword I have. I'm like, ain't this bought a bitch. Look, it's already... Going down deeper into the castle. And I do not like this area. It looked like the statues are going to come to life. I know they are. I see they may not do it now. Yeah, I man, all these big open rooms and corridors and left turns, right turns, doors that won't open. It's bringing back that feel of going through a Legend of Zelda dungeon or castle. But on here, it's way more intense and way more frustrating because Legend of Zelda titles are not hard, especially with the enemies or the bosses. It's, they're not really hard. They can be challenging at the most. But it seems like the dungeons on there will just kick your ass more than the actual enemies or the bosses. I keep seeing that door every nine in on this game. And I don't like them statues. I see this castle just full of statues. I already see what's, what's happening here. And look at this open area. This guy's set up all over it. <laughs> just look at this. Yeah, man, but for all you Legend of Zelda players, man, like, you, you can all agree. Well, some of you can agree. Oh, man, the, uh, the water dungeons, the water castle, the water temples, whatever one you want to call it. Oh, thank God. A motivating bonfire. Okay, see, I'm good. Nah, got my little checkpoint. I'm ready. Anyway, you can all agree that those are some of the most frustrating dungeons out of every single Zelda game. The freaking Water Temple. I can't stand it. I don't know. I mean, it's up for debate which one was the hardest or which one was the longest. You know, I should have researched that. What was the hardest temple or the longest temple out of any Legend of Zelda game? 
I mean, damn. Okay, now it looks like them things gonna. Oh, see, look at that. I knew it was gonna come to life. I mean, this is Dark Souls. It it just it just it fit it just fit those. Oh, look at this. Beaver seven five seven five. That's his other shout out. Oh man. Yet again, we have to fight the bosses again. Let's see, there's only one this time. Last time it was three. The first to start out is one. Then it turned into three. But hopefully this just stays one. And I don't know why the hell he is stronger than what he was before. Back when I fought him the first time, yes, I was way weaker. I sure as hell didn't have his shield or this sword. Wait a minute, or did I? I think I had this sword. No, I don't think I did. Oh, man, more statues came to life, man. Oh, no, I can't, I can't deal with this. Run, 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 run. Get the hell up out of there. Damn. And see, another thing with this game, if the enemies are just really on your ass, I mean on your ass tough, and you go to that bonfire, you can't use the bonfire. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I guess this room, I'm just SOL. I just got to fight the damn bosses all over again. Unless it's something different behind the doors. Which I'm hoping it is. And yes, it is. Damn. The path continues. SR Killer 001. Everybody back online. Always do that pro tip. Always hit the treasure chest first. If it's a metal treasure chest, some don't hit it. I mean, you know. This game, you know, it never ceases to amaze me. So, there probably is a booby-trapped metal chest. And I'm not talking about the ones with the bow guns that come out. I'm talking about the ones that grow teeth, arms, and legs. And chump on your ass. And then fall on you and laugh. Yeah, that, that's what happened to me. Well, it was, it was out of a wooden chest. After it chumped down on me, it fell on me. And I swear it laughed. That's what really <laughs> pissed me off. When you're already losing at a game that's already hard, and then the enemies have the audacity to laugh at you. Damn. Oh, man, we cutting it close, elites. Um, yeah, going in 18 minutes into this. So this is part one of this castle journey. I will have part two uploaded very soon. Thanks for watching. Giving your thoughts, comments, and concerns. It's me, the Elite Ace, signing out.